Hey, fangirls. Trigger warning. Trigger the fangirls. Trigger the fangirls. Benedict Cumberbatch is ugly. What? <laughs> I triggered the fangirls. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> also, I don't Some... need it. He's beautiful. Something's happening, Biscuit. What is it? He's adding power. The second attack will come soon. Oh, dear God. You go oh. ahead. Oh, you want me? <laughs> yeah, you do A, I'll do B. All right. <clears throat> Send it a dove ray. Ooh, excuse me. Man, it's not its not the mispronouncing. It's the, the word order. I'm screwing up. Okay. Send it a racing dove. Okay, moe. Send my pink pelican moe. Pelican. The first wave was just a ranging shot. I've got more than just moe-loving pigs, after all. I've heard that the fantasies of fangirls far surpass those of any fanboy. Can confirm. <laughs> I'm sorry? I have awesome friends. That, okay. That's all. That's, 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 continue. That's... You know who you are. I feel like there's questions coming up that you're not going <laughs> to give answers to, are there? Nope. Watch and be destroyed. Hurry, we need to block it. It's too much, Cord Dark Gray. We do seem to be getting squeezed. So, my evil half truly does have power to destroy this world. We can't give up. We have to defend the school. We're the only ones who can. Everything's all sparkly. Oh no! Oh dear. Merry Christmas! <clears throat> Merry Christmas! We can't give up yet. Is that what you're, is that what you're using for that? I thought that's what I did before. It might be now that I think about it. All right. We cannot. Merry Christmas! We have to help the pretty coors with our miracle pigeon light. It's a flashlight. Popo. With with a, a bird foot on it. We we brought the popo. The popo. It says there on the flashlight. You can do it, pretty coors. <clears throat> you brought a uh, a flashlight. Don't give up. You can do it. You are pretty cool. I have a lot of questions right now. I can hear everyone cheering us on. Pretty cores are warriors of love. Their kindness makes us stronger. It's very reassuring, isn't it? I swear, that outfit on a character you're <laughs> giving a, a Sarge voice to. Yep. I'll say it's, it's, that's exquisite. Hmm. You still resist. Pitiful. Allow me to end it for you. Remove all limiters. Output to maximum. Oh god, they're gonna fire the hentai beam. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's Sunday and Noble, so he must be the Uke. You dumb newbie. Everybody knows racing dove ex tree sparrows practically cannon. Oh god, they're shipping at us. Oh god. But butlers are so hot. Black wing steel ex pelican is the best. Yikes. What is this? Why is the energy converter becoming so unstable? Is it sad that I understand exactly what's going on right now? I mean, not really. Okay, you good. literally said shipping. That's yeah. That's what's happening. You expl <clears throat> You said what was happening, and it's... It, just go. Your time of Do judgment that. has come. You who would have used the blood of the Crimson Angel of Juje Judeca to state your greed. Golden-winged messenger... Pure spirits of light gather and strike his golden hue. Shining pretty cool burst! I don't know, what do you think? Good death rattle? Perfect! Give it a 4 out of 10. 2 out of 10. Perfect one. <sighs> we did it! We did it, Angel! We deflected the otaku laser! Look at the Golden Weekly building, it's practically destroyed! Yes, that abominable evil has been checked. Hmm. They probably won't be back in business for a little while. I wasn't sure we could do it. I'm so glad the school's okay. 
This was my sin. I should have realized sooner he meant to harvest my blood for evil. Forgive me. Don't worry about it, Angel. I just want to say, you know, I don't think that's something, that's a conclusion that a lot of people would come to. Yeah. Like, oh man, bad stuff's happening. I wonder if it's maybe this guy's harvesting my blood to put into a laser powered by nerds. Yeah. It's probably but not But oh, to the... live five minutes in Angel's mind. <laughs> I feel like maybe he shouldn't be 100% to blame just because I don't think I would come to that conclusion. All's well that ends well. It was Mr. Nishiki Koji's fault anyway. It's wrong for an adult to go around tricking high school students like that. Try not to get tricked by any more bad grown-ups, okay? Yes, I shall carve this lesson into my crimson chest, Sage of Nightmares. I did not account for this in my calculations. <clears throat> my creation was perfect. It was the materials that failed me. Those fangirls' fantasies were dreadful. No one told me their energies would be so unharmonious. Girls, am I right? God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it wouldn't have broken down if it weren't for those fangirls. Pant pant. Humph. Oh well. No doubt he saw the power of my artistry. This was a declaration of war. And Go yet... <laughs> and yet he's still on vacation wherever that. Blissfully heck he unaware is. that any of this even happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna twist his he's, pants in a knot. He's probably just... He's gonna show up, like, after the fact, and he's be like, Oh, the school seems fine. Oh, man, what happened to uh, that publication building over there? And then everyone is just gonna go, Oh, nothing much, and then all wink at the camera in unison. Ah. <laughs> Golden Weekly Chief Editor Nishiki Koji Tori speaking. Ah, Mr. Nishiki Koji. This was very childish and irresponsible of you. Understand? Yeah, you only tried to destroy a building and eliminate all of the people in it. Just like a child. Very childish. That's irresponsible. I want you to think about what you've done. With your lack of responsibility, you're not getting a puppy this week, son. Shut up. This isn't over yet. Wow, even his closing line sounded like something a movie villain would say after his evil organization is destroyed and he has no chance of winning. When did you get him to give you his number? <laughs> anyway, it looks like he'll probably retreat for now. <laughs> Just not even gonna answer that question. <sighs> like, Ryota has a legitimate question. How'd you get the villain's number? So, anyway... I feel like we helped them make this game sometime in the future, and they just sent it back into the past for us to play. Because it, it always seems like just slightly a step ahead of our snarky comments, right down to the, yep, it's a wall, all right. <laughs> oh, back during the, uh, yeah. the first one. <sighs> <clears throat> Hopefully we won't see him anytime soon. I guess that means your manga is back to square one on gel. But don't worry, I know you can do it. Be not afraid, Adel Blau. The star that shines within my soul has not yet lost its luster. You always try your best, so I'm sure you'll debut someday. And I'll be there when you do. Now then. Salutations, Mona me. Good work. So that was slightly Mr. Nanaki there. Yeah, <clears throat> my voice is a little gruff from all of the voices I'm doing. Yuya! Uh, Yuya! How do things look over there? I hope no one's killed. Don't worry, the building's badly damaged, but we've already extracted everyone who was kidnapped from the big site. Oh, we've got it from here. Good work. Thanks, Yuya. Hmm. So even that mongrel can make himself useful once in a while. He has all sorts of shady connections, so he's really nice to have around in situations like this. <laughs> Looks like everything's settled. Actually... Who was Mr. Nishiki Koji trying to get revenge on? Oh, dear. Maybe I'll call him up and ask later. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Am I letting myself catch cold? Perhaps I should have brought an extra sweater. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Yeah, <laughs> it absolutely was him, and he has no idea it ever happened. Nope. God damn it. Which is so fittingly appropriate to the villain. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty much. I gotta say, the writing in this series is always top notch. Like, <laughs> I shouldn't enjoy these games as much as I do, and yet, I do so much. Uh, I don't remember this heart here. Oh. Oh! Legumentine's Chronicles. Oh. It's the bean day. Yeah. I think this might be you. The most nervous day of the year is here again. But it looks like there's someone here who doesn't like this heart-throbbing romantic day. Please, enter your name. Oh, wait. Do you think we should do this or just start on the next chapter of the main series? I think we should come back to these. <clears throat> okay. So, so like, yeah. Do, so do this one later? Yeah. Okay. Because I know the, um... The little, the gate here leads to, like, the individual character paths. Oh, yeah. But these I was I was planning either on doing on my own time or during a stream. Yeah. But, yeah, the the short episode, the Legumentines, I wasn't 100% sure on. All right, so just continue with main story? Oh, yeah. All right. We got the day the night slept. Ruler of the stars, the dreaming king. The path to his kingdom quietly awakens in the sleeping night sky. We must not miss the train. We cross the glowing river. We follow obsidian, the obsidian map into the world of shadows. Wait a minute. Glowing river. Obsidian. Fallout New Vegas. That was the sound of me facepalming. This is it. This is a Fallout New Vegas bird, bird edition? Please enter your name. Oh. All right. So what's what? What do we? What are we naming our person here? Clearly, we shall name her Gravy Train. Gravy Train. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gra gravy Train. Yeah. All right. Gravy. So we shall now be Miss Train Gravy. Because of yes, the way, it the, way the the Japanese naming convention. <laughs> Is Train Gravy okay? Heck yes. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not here. Ryan? Is that me? No. <laughs> that was me. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> All right. The reason I, I saw that and my brain triggered him because of the... No, yeah, key. You saw... <clears throat> well, I thought I thought it was because he saw the first letter mm -hmm. and then ended in key. You just immediately uh, put one and one together and came up with four. Yeah. All right. So I'm trying to think, is this his narration too, or maybe this is narration? Okay. <clears throat> it's almost the end of the year. And it, oh no, it's not. And Nageki just came out to me. Guess it's. Well, I mean that's awfully courageous of him to do so. I support him in his life choices. I didn't know he was into that. That definitely makes the uh, the route where your girl tries to date him slightly awkward. What do you? I believe I am what you would f refer to as a ghost, bound to the place of my death. Oh, he's a ghost! I'm being sarcastic. <sighs> Spoilers. Spoilers, again, for the first game. Yeah, you really need to have played the first game <laughs> or watched it to know what's... Ca to know a lot of this stuff ahead of time. Or something like that. I only ever see him in the library. But I just thought he was a shut-in. I never expected this. I've seen a thousand wonders in my time, like a cannon powered by nerds. But what? even I'm a little surprised. Of course, he's still Nageki. <clears throat> it's not like we can't be together anymore. No matter who or what he is, he's still my friend. This won't change anything. You are very strange, Miss Train. Shouldn't you pick your friends a little more carefully? What are you talking about? I can be friends with a ghost if I want. That's all for today. See you all tomorrow. So, this is my confusion regarding that intro mm -hmm. and where it falls in the previous timeline. So I'm pretty sure that specific conversation only happens when you're when you're trying to date Nageki on his route, yeah. not the actual, like, 
true storyline. Yeah. So, I'm wondering, like, where this would fit in, or if the canon route is trying to date Nageki? I think perhaps what's happening is each of these chapters Mm -hmm. are kind of spinoffs from other stories. They're tangentially connected in that some of the events might happen the same way no matter what, but, like, the first chapter is if you followed one path, the second chapter is if you followed Angel's path a little bit closer, and this one is going to be following that path, even though there are story threads that will tie all, all of them together. Okay, so in a way, these are not fully canon, they're just... They're sort of like add-ons to specific characters' yeah. uh, storylines or yeah. routes. Mm-hmm. If you want. I do feel okay. like some of the plot points would happen no matter which path you took. I'm doing right. air quotes with my hands like y'all can see it. Uh, but like like the, 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 the turtle doves, I think, would happen no matter what, but the game picked a path to attach to it. The Angeal storyline would happen, but they decided to pick a path for that to happen. So this one is just... You know, continuing off those, but as if this was the path we had taken to begin with. Because they were sort of connected, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, by just referencing the turtle doves again. Okay. Alright, I, I kind of get what you're following, I think. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. See you, tom- see you all tomorrow. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>